Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the power of adjustment layers in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's say we're working on a timeline, and I've just got a couple random clips in a sequence. Traditionally, you would go about applying effects directly onto individual clips. So if I was to go into the effects panel, search for one like a Gaussian blur, for example, and add it onto this clip, you'll see it pop up in the effects control panel, and I can adjust the blurriness or whatever parameter was on that effect. And you also have all your traditional position and scale effects. Now, what if I wanted to continue doing this throughout the whole sequence? What if there was another clip, another part of the scene in a different clip, but I still wanted the same effect? Well, I could continue adding the same effect over. I could even copy and paste effects onto multiple clips. But one quick way to get the same effect over larger portions of everything underneath is by using adjustment layers. And the way that you access this is by going into the project panel. So make sure you have this highlighted. Go to File, New, Adjustment Layer, and then press OK. Uh, it'll just make it the default sequence sizes that you need. You can change it if you want, but we want it to cover the whole sequence. And you'll see the adjustment layer pop up in your project panel. You can name it whatever you want. Um, wherever, however you like. And then once you click and drag it onto the timeline, you could drag it on any track and even as high as you want, and it'll affect everything underneath it. So right now we just have a blank adjustment layer. Nothing's showing up, but instead of applying effects onto the clips, I can apply effects onto this adjustment layer and just apply that blur or whatever I needed. And you'll see that same blur continues throughout no matter how many clips I have. And the reason this is useful too is because sometimes you have multiple clips where you have things blended together. For example, let's say I have like a 50-50 blend or I have it on a unique blending mode like so. And I wanted to apply an effect over top of the whole thing. This allows me to do that and apply an effect over the entire composition. And another way that you might be able to do that is by nesting things together, right click and nesting things together, and then applying effects onto those nested sequences. But that's another option and route to group things. So not only does this work with effects, this also can work excellently with any Lumetri color adjustments. So let's say I just need to increase the exposure of an entire scene or the contrast, or let's say I wanted to add a creative look like a LUT or some sort of effect onto the entire sequence. Um, just as a side note, justinodishow.com slash shop. You can get all of my LUTs and other video resources. Quick little plug there. But continuing on, yes, you can create any sort of color adjustments and do things like that. One side note is that the, the way that effects are applied onto adjustment layers, traditionally they'll work just as you expect. But there are some properties which don't affect the clip underneath and actually just affect the adjustment layer, such as if we actually adjust the scale of the adjustment layer. In this case, you're not making everything underneath shrink. You're just shrinking the adjustment layer, and you can see that happening. And so you might have to go into other effects, such as transform, if you wanted to do that instead of the scale. So the transform acts as an effect that will adjust everything underneath but that's a basic introduction to a very useful tool, which is adjustment layers. So get familiar with this, create them, and keep them in mind as a tool on your projects. They come in very much handy, especially for color grading and doing stacking multiple effects. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other tutorials and effects in the playlist on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.